This is a recording about uh, this radio, an ICOM uh, handheld or portable radio for pilots. If you are into portable radios, FM type of radios for two-way radio communication type use in the forest or in the mountains for hunting or for your business, no, this is not for you. This is specifically designed for pilots. And this is a, not an unboxing video, I just opened this one uh, three hours ago uh, to charge the battery and I'm not one of those uh, showing off with the new gadgets. I got this radio as a gift, uh, I took the battery and the charger out so I can charge it, but I haven't touched the radio yet. So the radio is still in its package and since I'm here I want to show you what's in the package uh, again is this is not an unboxing video uh, my plan is to compare this radio to an Yaesu radio it's my older radio that I got uh, as a backup for flying so these guys um, have this special adapter for your avionics or aircraft headset I have a bunch of those here for repair, so I haven't tested this function, I haven't touched the radio yet, uh, again I just charged the battery, so I took the battery, uh, battery out, charged it for a few hours, three hours or something like that, it's a, it's a smart battery or intelligent battery, uh, has a computer chip inside that monitors the health of the battery, the number of charges, so it's not a regular cheap battery, I assume this battery is over $100, that's my assumption, so I hope it will last me three, at least 3 years. And the ICOM charger, let's see, that was 224, BC224, yeah, I never heard of this one, we have a bunch of uh, ICOM chargers, models in the shop, uh, radios, we are a... Uh, I think the largest ICOM dealer in the, in the area. So regular power adapter, its own charger, charge it before you use it. Uh, because this one uh, will record in its internal chip how many times you use it, uh, capacity and all that. So it's good to have it fully charged before you use it. And uh, I notice since it's light, it's a battery tray and I assume it's one of those for AA batteries. Uh, I read about this radio before, so they said that they include the tray, the battery adapter thing. So does that just a foam, then of a lanyard, which is a good thing, then the regular BNC battery. Uh, I mean the the antenna. Actually, I have another one laying around here. Um, I ordered it from uh, for a customer and he never picked it up. So uh, it's kind of a long antenna, but for that frequency you need a longer antenna. Uh, they could make it make it shorter, but it won't have the range. And what else is here? Oh, this uh, battery like a belt clip thing and let's see anything else for the money I should not complain since it was I got it as a gift I got it free so let me let me see what's here yeah I I've, like I said I've seen videos of it uh, but I never touched one um, I'm not working with sales I'm a repairing guy and probably sales people deal with this battery, this uh, these radios. I, like I said, my purpose is to test it and compare it against the Yaesu, because I did some testing on Yaesu and I'm getting five watts, five watts only if I scream into the microphone. It tells me that the the microphones, the waterproofing is not so great. So let me see. So I see some red buttons here. Oh, look, the power button is here. Let's see, does it turn on by itself like that? No. 
I assume like most other devices, you have to hold it for some time. It tells you the battery status there, 8 point something volts, and it goes to 118 megahertz. Okay, so let me tune this radio, because that's my purpose today, 118. 11800, so 118, I'm going to broadcast out of this radio at 118. Again, this is not a video to show you how you use this radio. I learned that it has GPS and some other cool features. I wish it had barometer. Barometer sends like a pressure sensor, so it shows me the altitude. Uh, that would be a really cool feature to have in a cockpit. If you have a static port or some of those, you know, static port uh, clogged or whatever you get into icing and now you have a layer of ice uh, covering those ports and yeah what you do you look for a hammer to break the glass or, or what you do uh, alternate static source what is that in the airplane if you rent one uh, uh, what you do anyway so that's uh would be a nice feature to have so I, i'm going to program a bunch of uh, local stations with uh, their GPS coordinates and see how it goes. So let me key up this radio and see see what it shows here. So this is uh, an old uh, service monitor but let me key up on that radio One seventeen. Yeah, 118. And 137 is just a carrier. One. And I'm getting only 3 watts. <whistles> only 3 watts? Something is not right. <laughs> Let me find the mic. Okay. Yeah, if I if I whistle uh, to the mic into the microphone hole yeah I'm picking up some signal so could be the microphone element could be faulty it has a waterproofing membrane I took this radio apart just how just half an hour ago I took it apart and I look at the microphone element and it's okay of course I had to grease the seals and stuff because I, I never opened it before and every time I open something like that which is supposed to be waterproof I, I go nicely with grease special grease around the seal gaskets and all that stuff and it uh, kind of uh, maintained a waterproofing feature and the, the charger port uh, this headphones and all these gaskets that are in the radio got uh, some grease and some lube some love and now let me transfer the BNC connector that connects to my uh, service monitor to this radio. So I'm going to key up, let's see, keying up here to left, yes. Oh, so let me turn this one off. So let's see carrier. 1.86 okay let's do one eighty seven was the carrier only one two three four one 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 so I'm getting five watts if I speak louder one two three seven watts peak can whistle. Let's see where is the mic ah, microphone is here, right here. Yeah, six point something watts. So lots of power I'm getting out when compared to this one. So it's like a, a watt and a half more. A watt and a half more between this one and this one. Um, I had for testing an uh, ICOM A16. Uh, a newer model and um, I forgot to test the power output I think it's 5 watts 
and this one is rated at 5 watts but I have to scream loud in order to get that 5 watts out and what I'm going to do next not today uh, I'll plug in the uh, aircraft headset like uh, those pilots headsets I'm going to plug it in each radio so I have adapted for this radio adapted for this radio which came with a uh, with a package and I'll use the same exact the same uh, headset which has the same microphone element and I'll compare the audio that way because maybe uh, I could get more more audio modulation which increases the power output you know where uh, the AM is dependent on the audio the microphone audio or the modulation level uh, versus the FM which is constant power output so that's kind of uh, the testing I was trying to do today and let's see do I have light oh yes light comes on once you touch a button but it's not a lot of brightness um, of course I have to get into the menu and uh, do some settings here uh, when I get home I'll uh, spend a couple of hours on it to punch in frequencies and like I said uh, geographic GPS locations and I'll do some testing on the VOR function because uh, the GPS and the VOR functions are uh, important for me I'm trying to especially GPS I'm trying to fly in the mountains and I do fly in the mountains but I never use this model uh, I use uh, uh, a tablet with GPS built in as a backup <laughs> so if I if I don't see myself on the map or for some reason because in the, when you are in the mountains uh, you have uh, lots of features but some of those features you select as a uh, waypoints uh, look very similar one to another like some creeks or some rivers or some glacier or something and you think oh I, I thought I'm here but I actually you are to the you are to the next valley to the next creek which on the aeronautical maps they look very similar so I'm still uh, learning to practice with those things with navigations like that but having one of these uh, toys and dumping a lot of waypoints in it uh, along your track uh, I think is going to be very helpful I, I think I hope so that was about the ICOM ACA25N from N from navigation or nav okay so that's a cool uh, cool toy see how it goes take care bye bye